Hey hunters, I've got some very exciting news for you. So I am heading back to Egypt next year and I would love if you came with me. I am gonna be co-hosting a tour with YouTuber Annie XT. I will link his channel down below. It is going to be such an amazing tour. We are going from the 15th of September till the 27th of September, 2022. So this is next September, not right now. We have also managed to arrange some special permissions, which means we get access to places not usually allowed public access, which includes a two hour private tour of the Great Pyramid, which is what I did last year. And it honestly, honestly, it's almost priceless, that experience of a lifetime. Because normally when you go and see the pyramids, it's absolutely ram packed with people. But when you do a private tour, they literally, uh, they literally clear the Giza Plateau and just your tour group is allowed it for two hours. And it is stunning. And you also get to really feel the acoustics of the Great Pyramid without loads of people talking because there's only just a few of you wandering around. Um, so this year, when I go back, definitely going to be looking into more experimentation with sounds and frequencies. I'm going to be bringing my LiDAR 3D scanning technology to really scan every nook and cranny of everything that I can find. See, last year I went out kind of not really knowing what I was looking for and just along for the fun. And now I know exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back to these sites and also some sites that I haven't been to before. Um, and really going to be hunting for that technology. Another thing that I'm really, really, really excited about is that we have got special permission, private access to the front paws of the Great Sphinx because they've changed it in recent years and you actually can't get up close to the Sphinx without paying extra money. And we are gonna be able to get there at dawn quite cool and we're going to be able to run around inside the sphinx enclosure and get right up close to the paws so we can like inspect every nook and cranny and look for holes and hidden entrances and actually annie xt did a really that's how i found him online because he did a really really good video all about all of the secret entrances that are on the sphinx so i'll link that below as well so you get a good idea yes these tours are expensive they are pricey however the pros and cons that I'm gonna run through, cause I've done one of these tours before and I paid for it myself, so I understand. I feel like I'm getting lower, here we go. Yes, it's a lot of money, but you don't have to do or organize anything. Everything is organized for you. All of the transport from when you arrive in Egypt, you get picked up, you get taken to your hotel, you get taken to all of the sites and back. You're given an armed guard to make sure that the whole tour is safe. All of your flights and itineraries, everything's just done for you. So all you literally have to do is turn up and explore and have fun and meet everyone and eat. All of the restaurants, all the food, everything's included. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a whole package plan and it's very good. Um, the special permission. So if you were gonna go to Egypt on your own, um, you wouldn't be able to access a lot of the things that we're going to be accessing on this tour, like getting into the Sphinx enclosure, like getting down, I think possibly we might be adding the Osiris shaft, possibly stay stay on hold for that just it is a once in a lifetime trip it is a once in a lifetime opportunity and i think it's worth it's it's worth the price of the ticket because the experience that you have i can't even explain it to you when you are standing in these temples that are thousands if not tens of thousands of years old and it's just you feel alive and connected and one thing that's also awesome is that all of the people that you're going to meet, the like-minded hunters um, that are going to be there, um, I'm, I'm still in contact and friends a year later with the people that I went to Egypt with last time. Um, so yes, that's another reason to go because you're going you're gonna to find some friends. So if you would like to go with us uh, to Egypt, then I am linking the uh, where you can sign up. I'm linking the website where you can sign up. And if you sign up now and you put a deposit now and you do like an early bird, because I, I realize it's a long way away, uh, you can get a hundred dollars off and you can use code HUNTERS, all lowercase, and you'll get a hundred dollars off um, the price of your of your adventure. Um, so great. And if you can't make it this year, don't worry. Um, I will be bringing you guys all along and I'm gonna be filming way more. Now I have an idea of like, before I was just vlogging kind of like without, I didn't realize that I was gonna be making this channel and making so many videos from the vlog. I thought, oh, I'll just do an Egypt vlog or two. I made like nine. So now um, I've got an, a mind's eye of what I wanna make 
the content that I want to make and get and the interviews that I want to do. And so yeah, if you can't come with and, and be in the vlogs in person, then you're definitely going to be able to watch them because I'm going to make a lot of videos. Okay, I think that's everything. Is that all the information? Hmm. Right, I just thought I'd whiz you through the tour itinerary in case I've tickled your fancy. Um, so we arrive in Cairo, Egypt. Day two, we're straight out the gate. We're going to go straight to the Sphinx and see the Giza pyramids and the Solar Boat Museum. Um, last time we saw Giza on the very last day of the tour. And looking back, I actually didn't think that was the best order to do things because I was so shattered and I'd seen so many pyramids that I didn't, I didn't see the Giza plateau properly um, because I was just so tired. So I'm glad that we're doing it, it first um, because I really think we're going to absorb all of like the best bits first. That's day two. Then day three, we're going to fly to Luxor. We're going to go down, go to Luxor Museum, Temple of Luxor. Day four, um, we're going to go to Abydos. We're going to go to the Osirian and Dendera. Oh my God, Dendera. Um, Day five, we're going to take a Nile cruise. Yes. So this is something that I didn't get to do uh, last time because when we got there, they COVID had shut all the Nile cruises. So we ended up just bussing for a very long time. It was very long. Um, so I'm really excited that we're going to get a proper Nile cruise. Um, Agatha Christie style. Hope nobody dies. They won't. That was a joke. That was a poor joke. That was... But yeah, a proper old fashioned Nile cruise. Love it. Uh, we're going to see Valley of the Kings, uh, the Ramesseum. We, oh, that's the Ramesseum is so crazy. Um, we're going to, the Nile cruise is going to continue to Karnak Temple. Then we are going to go to the Edfu Temple, which is awesome. That's where we can, um, and I know, if I can remember, where the section of the Edfu um, text, which which talks about the, the, the island that gets lost, the Atlantis sort of story at Edfu. Um, you can go and see that in, in real life and take all pictures. Um, maybe this time we could definitely try and find somebody who can who can translate the Edfu Atlantis text like live for us. That would be in, I'll, I'll ask Annie if you can do that. Um, Nile cruise, we, we keep going on the Nile cruise. We're going to Aswan Quarry at the unfinished, unfinished obelisk. Um, Temple of Isis, Elephantine Island, that's so scary. It's like the graveyard of all the old ancient megalithic stonework. We're gonna go to Saqqara. We're gonna go to Dasha, oh, Saqqara. Cool. Day 12, the Cairo Egyptian Museum and the private visit inside the Great Pyramid. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we're gonna do the private visit. That's great, and a farewell dinner party. Banging, that is 12 days of utter adventure. I cannot wait. This was very sorry when I don't. Um, okay, great. So there it is. I mean, if you want to check out, it's the, um, I will literally link the tour site below. It's the ancient technology and symbolism tour of Egypt. So we're going to be hunting ancient tech, but we're also going to be looking at it from a kind of spiritual side as well. Um, we get the best of both worlds. We get like the mystic side of Egypt and also like the ancient tech. It's gonna be great. I'm sorry, I realized that I'm not I'm not making a lot of content right now. And as um, if you might have seen my update video recently, it is because right when I was about to just go full-time YouTuber, um, I landed a role in a TV show because I'm also an actress. So I'm having to take six weeks out to film the British TV show. And then once that's all done and wrapped up, um, I will be, the, my first thing to do is to get back on the channel because I have got so much going on. Um, and I've recently uh, got into contact with uh, Christopher Dunn. Oh my God, Christopher Dunn. Oh my God, my God. Um, he, he got my email and he's been emailing me and um, I'm thinking about what, what I, content I can do um, or how Christopher Dunn can maybe help. I don't know, I'm just so excited. I need to, I need to calm down. So thank you for your patience. I really feel it. And I'm so excited to what this channel is gonna do next year and like everything we're gonna find and what we're gonna see. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Mm. Awesome.